Hey guys, Cindy Williams, Wanderlust CEO, here to bring you all of your Disney updates in less than five minutes. Are you ready? I hope you had coffee. I've had coffee. I've had lots of coffee. I've been up since 9 a.m. and there's five billion updates for today. The big question of the day has been, who can use the reservation system? When should you use it? Everybody has to use it, by the way. Well, if you want to get into the park, please don't go to Disney and just stay at the hotel. <laughs> travel agents will laugh at you. I hope you're using a travel agent. If you didn't use a travel agent, now's the time. All right, let's kick it off with dates. First and foremost, if you have a Disney reservation and you have a hotel reservation, oh wait, that didn't make sense. <laughs> Too much coffee, or maybe I'm tired. I'm not sure what's going on. If you have a hotel, Disney hotel reservation, you're staying on property and you have a ticket, you have to have both of those, then you may use the new reservation system. However, when you log on to the new reservation system today, it's not gonna work. It's timing out, it's locking up, no one can get into it, it's hilarious. <gasps> it's not funny. Secondly, if you are a pass holder without a hotel stay, so a pass holder not with a hotel at Disney, like if you live in Florida or you're gonna be there staying at a cheaper hotel, <laughs> we don't judge. But hey, listen, June 26th is the date you can get into the reservation system, assuming it's working better than it's working today, which it's not at all. All right, moving on. All ticket holders that have tickets can start making reservations in the reservation system to get into the park even if you don't have a hotel stay, starting, Ju starting June 28th, okay, June 28th. Tickets are paused right now. You can't actually buy tickets, so if you're watching this video and you're like, hey, I wanna go to Disney, <laughs> no, you can't. You can't go to Disney. There's no ticket sales for 2020 right now uh, unless you have a room reservation, then <laughs> that's a different story. Those can start to be purchased on June 24th. So if you have a hotel reservation, but for some reason you didn't book a uh, your passes, or <laughs> maybe you didn't use a travel agent, you didn't know that you should do that, I don't know. Uh, maybe that happened, June 24th is your big date. So a couple days from now that you can actually go get that ticket, then don't forget to link it up, then you have to go over and use the reservation system that hopefully will be working by then. All right, moving on, June 28th, 2021 packages are gonna open, yay, you can book for next year. When can you book for this year? No, there's no booking for this year yet. 2020 is not for sale until further notice. They're saying later this summer, but we'll see, who knows? I mean, if you wanna go to Disney, you should have listened to us three months ago when we told you to get your reservations in. <laughs> There's more people. Hmm. If you're a pass holder, a couple of important dates for you, July 9th, July 10th, you can get a pass holder preview, meaning you can go to the park before anybody else. But reservations are gonna be limited and based on the site crashes today, we're guessing they're gonna go pretty fast. So um, should you buy your airline tickets? Uh, probably not, I don't know, we'll see, we'll keep you updated. More to come on that, right? If you're a pass holder, pay attention. All right, you're also gonna get a one month extension from Disney, just cause, you know, all the craziness. So out of the time that Disney closed all the way to July 11th when they reopen, you're gonna get a credit for all that time, plus you're gonna get an additional month, or you can get a prorated refund, no info on how that's gonna happen, more info on that later, Disney's telling us, so stay tuned. All right, Epcot Food and Wine Festival is happening. Also, Flower and Garden happening. How is that possible? Flower and Garden's in the spring, Food and Wine is in the fall. Oh, we're just gonna put them together, because why not? That makes total sense. I mean, come on, it'll be amaze balls. <sighs> will it be? I think it will be. I mean, they have to sell all that merchandise from Flower and Garden, so it makes kind of, I guess, marketing sense. By the way, that opens 7-15, when Epcot opens. When does it end, you ask? No telling, there's no end date listed anywhere, so it might just go forever. Highly doubt that, so stay tuned for more info, okay? All right, moving on, event cancellations. Typhoon Lagoon, Glow Nights, canceled. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, canceled. Uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you ask? Epcot's Festival of the Holidays, eh, we're gonna see how it goes. That's what we're hearing right now. Hasn't been officially canceled yet, but depending on how things go, may or may not happen. So stay tuned for those dates. More dates coming at ya. Disney Dining Reservations, here's where it gets really exciting. Are you guys ready? All right, number one, they're opening more dining locations at the DVC resorts, but you can't make reservations unless you follow this matrix of information. One, you must be staying on Disney property. Two, you must be staying during the dates of June 22nd and July 10th. If those are the cases, you can make dining reservations at those other DVC restaurants that are listed and open now, but you can't make them in the traditional way, meaning online or through your mobile app, which is so easy. No, you have to call and wait till Christmas to talk to somebody, then you can make those reservations. We'll see how that goes. <sighs> but if you do make a dining reservation and you don't show up, those cancellation penalties are back in place. $10 per person, non-refundable, don't forget. Oh, Magic Bands next year are going away. Eh, we don't need those. Eh, they, we don't need them. We're gonna do mobile next year. We're gonna check in on our phone. We're gonna have cashless transactions, all that good stuff. Be able to open your ho hotel room you can already do. So whatever, why do you need Magic Bands anyway? They're stupid. All right, moving on. Just kidding, I love Magic 
magic bands. They're the greatest. I mean, come on. But you can still get magic bands. You can still use magic bands. They're just not gonna give them away for free anymore. Oh, by the way, there's a whole, there's just a few tiny little bit new terms and conditions you have to sign off on for your new trip to Disney. So when you go in and make your reservations for the park pass, make sure you read through that 50 pages of information. Just kidding, it's not 50, but it's a lot. Like, I know you guys don't read that crap, but um, you're basically saying if you die, you can't hold Disney accountable and a bunch of other cool legal stuff that they put together for you to sign off on. So make sure you check that out. If you have any reservations about catching, uh, giving, or uh, interacting with people with COVID, you probably shouldn't go. It might not be the year for you. Oh, by the way, the end NBA is gonna be uh, in town, right? How exciting they're gonna be staying at Grand Floridian Yacht Club and Grand Destino Tower. Why is this exciting? Because if you have reservations there, they're probably gonna get canceled. Ew, yeah. So um, again, I hope you use a travel agent because they'll probably take care of everything for you and it'll be amazing. And you'll be like sitting in your pool and just enjoying like a margarita uh, if you didn't get ready to um, be on hold for a long time to try to get that rebooked. Good luck to you, good luck. I mean, that's it, it's, it's Monday at like nine. Just like a few updates, there'll be more tomorrow. Don't worry, tune in. There's gonna be more coffee, there's gonna be more wine. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there, it's gonna be okay, I promise. There's so many updates right now, so many. So, point being is use a travel agent. If you don't, you're a moron. You're not smart, you're not savvy. I love you, I still love you, but like, unless you wanna like sign up for like pain and suffering for traveling anytime in the foreseeable future, use a travel agent. Oh my God, <laughs> if you don't, I'm gonna laugh at you. I'm gonna make these updates and I'm gonna laugh at you. Okay, moving on, share this video. Let's support travel agents everywhere, I love you. Ah, wine, when it's warm, is really gross. Be 